Hello everyone and welcome. Vice Versa here with a quick video rundown on the Agatha encounter for you unholy death knights out there trying to get your scissors of doom. Agatha is a fairly challenging solo encounter with several moving parts you definitely always want to be aware of. The mechanics for the first half of the fight pretty much just repeat over and over. So once we get towards the second half, we'll start seeing some changes to the formula that make things a lot more difficult. So, in general, I would say this fight is more about correctly prioritizing adds over doing the most face DPS to the boss that you can. It can be very difficult to recover if you spend overlong focusing on the wrong things. Now, I did this at item level 906, which seems to be about the middle ground for people I've seen complete this. Uh, today was day one of the Mage Tower's completion in any realms, so this was our very first crack at the hidden artifact appearances. I used Kiljaden's Burning Wish and Instructor's Fourth Lesson, as well as Standard Unholy Raining Talents, Ebon Fever, Pestilent Pustules, Clawing Shadows, Spell Eater, Necrosis, and Soul Reaper. You can see my general gear setup at 107 in this video, right here. The time links for specific portions of the fight are below. I also did not use Drums of Fury or Augment Runes, so if you do opt to use these items, you may find the fight somewhat easier. So... I started with a standard raid opener, army, pre-pot, dark transformation, gargoyle. You'll see this, she almost immediately spawns imps, which is great because Outbreak catches all of them and immediately nukes them along with KJBW. Once you take out those imps, you have about 5 to 10 seconds face time with Agatha before the imp servants and your first fuming imp spawn. This first set of imp servants and the fuming imp for that matter absolutely melt under the weight of your pets. Later on you'll have to deal with them normally. After this first round, you get a lot of personal face time with Agatha herself, about 25 seconds. Go ham here. After your lovely face time with Agatha, she'll envelop herself in an absorbed shield and begin infinitely channeling a spell called Dark Fury, which will deal increasing damage to you every time it ticks. Just DPS the shield off as best you can, then interrupt the spell. Prioritizing dealing with adds at spawn, however, is going to be your greatest priority, as your virulent plague will do most of the work for you on Agatha's shield. Keep moving to avoid the periodic circles that will appear on the floor. When dealing with the imp servants and fuming imps, the fuming imps will chase you all around, and if they catch you, they'll begin casting an uninterruptible spell called Plague Zone. If they complete the cast, they'll explode, dealing about 1.5 to 2 million damage to you, and leaving green goop on the floor. Walking through the group will slow you and deal a lot of damage to you, but the Fuming Imps have very little health and can be kited fairly easily. If they do manage to catch you, you can Death Grip them to force them to restart the cast, but you should get used to focusing them down when they do spawn because sometimes you get two at a time, and you only have one Death Grip for them. Save your Death Grips for the Imp Servants. To deal with the Imp Servants easily, outbreak one of them and position yourself about halfway between the other and Agatha, and pull him in. Death and Decay is best used here, but Imp Servants are the lowest in your priority list, and their channel heals Agatha for a small amount, about 100k per tick, uh, but other than that, they're harmless. Clean them up as best you can. Work Agatha as much as you can between ad phases, but continue focusing on your ad control, and you'll soon reach Phase 2. Now that we're in phase 2, once Agatha reaches 50% HP, she'll teleport herself to the back end of the long room you're in and begin calling down boulders that will roll at you. They will nearly one-shot you and if you're anywhere below 75% health, you'll die. Guaranteed. Avoid the rocks and make your way to Agatha. Refresh your virulent plague as soon as you're in range and continue as usual. From this point on, things get very difficult. All the ad phases from phase 1 will continue, but now you will also have to deal with the occasional additional hazard of the falling rocks. They come down in random numbers from 2 to 4, and alternate lanes left, right, and center. It is very unwise to go behind Agatha on this end of the room at any time unless you absolutely have to, because sometimes a smoldering imp will spawn behind her and you need to ensure it dies quickly. Also in phase 2, Agatha will occasionally spawn green circles underneath you that will leave patches of fellfire on the ground that you'll want to avoid. Walking through them is okay, but standing in them for any extended period of time is unwise. Every 10% HP thereafter, Agatha will switch sides of the room. This is a great time to finish off any remaining imp servants as they tra la 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 their way over to Agatha. The boulders will always spawn from the back end, so when you are at the front end, you have a lot more time to consider and evade them. Yeah. 
A lot of this fight is very much rinse and repeat, duck and dodge, avoid and evade. Keep yourself healthy with Dark Sakura procs and try to use them before killing multiple minions at once. Especially if you find yourself low. You'll, if you need some room to breathe, make sure you're using Anti-Magic Shell during Dark Fury, especially early in the cast when it can almost completely protect your health bar if you bring the shield down quickly. Take special care not to forget to interrupt Dark Fury, because it can ramp up very high and be the eventual cause of your death. I very narrowly avoided a rock I wasn't paying attention to, so definitely make sure you're watching out for those. They will kill you, and if you're getting this far, it's almost always the rock you weren't paying attention to that'll wipe you out. Oh, there it goes. The ad priority for this fight is going to be Fuming Imps, Smoldering Imps, Umbral Imps, and Imp Servants. The further into the fight you get, the faster the ad cadence will get, so clear them up as fast as you can. From about 30% on, most of the damage you'll do to Agatha will be via Virulent Plague, but keep the adds under control and you'll win. Or get crushed by a boulder, but hopefully still also win. Thanks for watching guys, please like and subscribe below the video, I would love to do more videos like this for you guys, I hope it'll help. But without your support, we're not going anywhere. Alright ladies and gentlemen, be safe and stay unholy.